Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Telmer again, and today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos with Unity Mars and face tracking. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what you basically see playing behind the scenes, which is a demo that I created to show you how to actually capture face expressions. We're going to be able to detect when the model is actually opening the mouth, when it's closing the mouth, when it's raising the eyebrows, lowering the eyebrows, and also other face expressions available in Unity Mars. I'm also going to show you how we can implement a script that is going to capture that information, it's going to be converting it to an enum, and then we can use that to basically hide different components that we put on the face, such as the eyeballs when the mouth is open. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today, which is to continue the videos on face tracking with Unity Mars. I'm actually going to show you how to capture face expressions. And if you remember from the previous video, if I hit play, you can see that Amy and all the different prefabs follow her face. We added components to the ears, to the nose, the eyes, and also to the chin. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to be capturing, okay, when she smiles, when she closes the mouth, when, you know, the eyebrow is raised, when different expressions are captured, we want to notify a script, and then that script is going to basically capture that expression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where that it's done. So you're going to go into face mask. You're going to see that we have this thing called the face expression action. And if you click on add event, there's actually one for, for many of them. So there's one for mouth open, which we're going to be using, one for mouth closed, when the smile is engaged, when it's disengaged, and also when, you know, the left eye is closed and open and so on. So before we add this, I want to show you what we need to do on the script to be able to capture it. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. So to start, I'm going to be adding an enum, and I'm going to show you why that is. So I'm going to call it face expression type. And then here, I'm just going to say it's going to be mouth open. We're going to say we're also going to be capture mouth closed. We can also do one when the, where the smile is engaged. And then also when the smile is disengaged. So we can just do disengage there. And then we can also do one when, where the eyebrows are actually in a race. So we can, we can do those if we wanted to, but I'm going to keep it simple. Let's just go ahead and do those four. And I'm also going to be adding one not defined. I'm going to show you why that is. The next thing that I need to do is I'm going to be adding a new method. This one is going to say, we can just call it capture face expression. I'm going to be passing a string. It's going to be the expression name. And in the body of it, we're going to be doing something different. So I'm actually going to be putting this in the log and then we can put it on a UI so that it, you know, it looks, just looks cooler. Now we can do try parse and a try parse. I'm going to be passing the expression name. I'm actually going to be putting that into a variable. So we can just say the variable is going to be of type face expression type. We can just use IntelliSense here to help us with the variable name. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say debug.log and no error. We just want to log something. And then this one is just going to be the face expression type. Okay, so that's all we need to do for now. I'm going to be adding more to this, but let's go ahead and go back into Unity. And I'm going to show you how powerful this is. The power comes when you're going to start doing these things in Unity, right? Without actually having to build it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Event. And let's go ahead and do one for mouth open. We can do one for mouth close, smile engage. And make sure that I have those typed correctly. I think I, I did, yeah, I did a smile engage. And I think I did, yeah, open, yep, there we go. And then we can just do one on the smile disengage. And I think, I think I just did, yeah, I just did those four. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit plus on all of these ones. And let's go ahead and add our script. I can just go ahead and go into my project here, drag it and drop it. And then we can just drag it and drop it to every one of these. Unity events, and then there we go. And then the last one. And then on the function, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and it's going to be that expression. So make sure that you find the script that is associated with the with the Unity event. And then where is it? There we go. And then we'll just do the same thing with this one and also with the mouth close. There we go. And then for each one of these, I'm just going to be typing in the the actual name. So it's going to be, so it's going to be the string that we're going to be converting to an enum. Then I'll do the same thing on this one, except this is going to be disengage and missing an E. If that doesn't parse, then we're going to be, uh, we're going to be getting a not defined. So actually we won't be getting a not defined. No, we will, because that will be the, 
we'll try it out and see what happens. And then on this one, we'll just do mouth open. And then we'll just do mouth close. Okay, so the cool thing with this is that we're gonna be able to test it here, right? So I can go ahead and focus. Let's go ahead and put the console here and then we can leave the project. Or you can see what's happening. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit play. And you're gonna see that mouth is open. So that one got triggered. Mouth close, that one got triggered. And let's see, it's just going to be smiling. So smile engage, smile disengage. So everything is working, right? So let's say that we add one that we don't, we don't really, we're really not capturing right now. Let's go ahead and do the left eyebrows. And on this one, we'll just do the same thing. We'll just go ahead and drag and drop the, the face expression. Let's go ahead and go ahead and do this. And then we'll, this one, we'll just do X. So let's see what happens with that. It shouldn't parse because X doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and hit play. And you can see that this one got triggered, but it's trying to look for X. So that one came back with no define, which is, which is what I was expecting. So you, you wanna make sure that these match. And the reason for that is because we're converting those to real enums and it's, you know, it's more, it's more correct to do it that way than dealing with the strings because these are more type and it's gonna allow you to do cooler things. And I'm gonna show you what those cooler things are gonna be. So this one we can just do eyebrow. Let's do eyebrow, let's see, raise. And just to complete this demo because we're gonna be putting this in GitHub, I'm also going to be the doing the other one. So I think this one is going to be raised and the other, the other one is gonna be lower. I'm gonna be adding that. Let's go ahead and drag it and drop it. And then we'll just bind this one as well. And then this one is going to be lower. So I'll make sure those match left eyebrow raise, left eyebrow raise. This one is lowercase and this one is going to be lower. Okay, so let's go ahead and add them in here. We're gonna have the raise and then we're gonna have the the lower one and everything should just work. So what else can we do with this? Well, the first thing that I that comes to mind is I want to build this to iOS. So I want to be able to see this in a UI. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and go into a canvas and we go ahead and go back here and go into 2D so that we can see our canvas. And then right now this is all incorrect because I want to make sure that me, my build settings are set to iOS. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this and I'm going to be switching platforms. Once I switch the platform, the UI is going to look correct based on the, the iOS settings. Let's give it a second here. I think it should be done in just a few seconds. All right guys, so it looks like this completed now. Let's go ahead and close it up here. And then what I'll do is let's go ahead and make sure that in my game aspect, I can change it to, let's do the one that I have is an iPhone XR. Let's see, I actually have an iPhone 12, but the one that I'm used to working with is going to be this one. Okay, so I think that that works. And then there we go, there's our grid. It's matching that layout. So what I'll do here is we'll go into UI and I'm gonna be adding a new, basically a new TextMesh Pro label. And it's gonna ask us that we need to import the essentials. Let's go ahead and import it. All right, so it looks like that it's good to go. And then what I'll do here is, is we're just gonna be putting the state of the face expression I also need to align this. Let's go ahead and put it on the on the very top. Now we can do something like that. And I think I'll just do, do it like here. And then I'm gonna be resizing this perhaps about there. And there we go. Okay, so this is gonna be the face expression. It's going to basically replace the value every time we capture the expression. And then this one I can just do expression name text. Perfect, and then the type that I'm gonna be using for the script, let's go ahead and go into C Sharp, and it's gonna be the one that we need, and I'm just gonna be creating a new variable on this script, it doesn't really matter. And then this one's just gonna be Text Mesh Pro. And actually, I want to name it correctly, so it's gonna be face expression, text, and then it's gonna ask us to bring in an in space. We'll just do that using TM Pro. It's gonna remove the ones that we don't need. There we go. And then what I'll do here is we're gonna have to update it, right? So it's gonna be as easy as just, just changing this. And then we can just say detect it. And then we can just put in the face expression type. Uh, let's actually use a string interpolation here. And then we'll just do face expression type. And there we go. 
So now let's go ahead and go back and make sure that we have that bound to our script. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my face mask. And I didn't make it serializable, so we need to make it serializable. I'm going to make it, I like to make it private. Some people like to make it public. And it just really depends on, on your coding patterns. And then I'm going to just be adding this guy here. And now we can go ahead and test it and see if this is going to display correctly. And what I need to do as well, let's go ahead and go back. I like to have UI that looks, that looks decent. So let's go ahead and go back here. And I'm going to be adding, we can just do a raw image. And then on the raw image, what I'll do is I'll just change that to a color black. I'm going to show you why that is because I, I like to have those look good. We can just say expression panel. There we go. And then I'll just put this one here. This one's going to be outside. I'll just put this one right about here. I think it's fine. We can just do 650, 100 is fine. And then I'll just make sure this one is also centered on the top. Perfect. And then I'm going to change the opacity a little bit. Something like that I think works fine. And then this one, since it's going to be, you know, a child of that other object, we can just have it resize. And then I think that could be actually on the center. I think that's fine. We can just change the position. And then make sure that I align those handles there and then this handle as well. Some of the UI experts are going to complain about how I'm doing this, but it's going to work, I promise. <laughs> okay, so now that we have that, I think everything is, is, you know, is, is mapped. Now whenever we call Amy, we play Amy's video, we should start to see some of those events. And if we don't see them, it's because that might not get triggered, like the actual text box doesn't get update it. Let me go ahead and go back here. And yeah, I think, I think we're going to have to run that on the actual device in order for us to see those labels getting, getting updated. Cause I think what happens is these is basically, it might not work on the editor. It might just work when we, when we actually build it. Okay. So we have that map and then what else can we do? Right? So another thing that you can also do is if we go here and we look at Let's say that whenever we have our mouth open, we don't want to see perhaps the, the eyeballs. And the eyeballs, when I'm talking about those, those are going to be the ones that I added. Let's go ahead and go back into my same view. So what I'm going to do is whenever we have our mouth open, I'm going to be hiding this. Whenever we close our mouth, we're going to be basically showing them. So how can we do that? So I'm just going to go ahead and we can just add a new object in here. This could be just a game object. And just do a game object array and it's going to be objects to high and I think that works. And then we'll just make this one serializable. There we go. Perfect. So what I'll do here is whenever we have our mouth open, we're going to be doing something, right? We're going to be just doing a toggle. So that's what I wanted to do the, the actual enums because it's going to be a lot easier to have to, to deal with whenever you're doing, you know, an if statement. So I'll just do, I'll just do a check here and I say, okay, whenever the mouth is open, I'm going to do this. Else, when the mouth is closed, then I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do something else. So we can just do, I'm actually going to do an else if because I want to just only do it when this condition is true. So I'm just going to do a mouth close. Then we're going to be doing the, let's see if I can, there we go. The Visual Studio is trying to do things for me and it always causes problems and I need an else if there. There we go. So what I'll do here is if we have our mouth open, like I said, we're going to be hiding them. So I'll just say, I'll just do a little for each. And then we'll just say, we'll just do var. I think it's fine. Var g in game objects to high. So we're just going to say, and then set active. It's going to be false, right? Because we don't want to show them whenever our mouth is open. And then otherwise we can do, we can just set him back to true whenever our mouth is, it's closed. So mouth open is going to hide him, mouth closed is going to, is going to show them. And then we don't need this logging. Uh, let's keep it in here just in case if we are in the Unity editor, we want to see that. So I can just actually do Unity editor and then we'll just do that only when we are on the Unity editor. There we go. It's actually a good, good thing to do. And I think that's everything that we need to do there. Let's go ahead and go back. Okay. What I need to do, let's go ahead and go back into face mask. I'm going to be collapsing this 
you're gonna see that we don't have any objects assigned that we're going to be hiding. So I'm gonna be setting these to two. And let's go ahead and assign the left eyeball and also the right eyeball. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play. So right now the mouth is closed, it opened up. As soon as that happens, the eyeballs went away. So now we're showing them. And that's basically how you can, you know, bind some of the events that we get from the face expression actions. And you can do something with it. In my case, I'm just hiding and showing the eyeballs, but there's a lot more use cases that you can use for this. And that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you in this video. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you guys.